Hello YouTubers, it's uh, Silver Tardis here. Well, I'm just about to show you the um, the last five robots for Series 5. So if you want to be represented by uh, one of these, just um, leave a comment below and um, first one to say which robot they want, we'll get it. Alright, we start with um, Infernal Contraption. Uh, based on the version in Robot Wars um, with the spinning drum which was pretty difficult to make because um, it had to be above the floor but it also had to be um, good for attacking as well in full contraption a uh, pretty sturdy model um, well with regards to the actual body but uh, the front it can be broken but um, it does have quite a bit of pushing power on it, mainly because of the weight. So, yeah, Infernal Contraption. All right, next up, we have Cutthroat. And I think, yeah, I think it is. Um, it's the first robot in my series to um, have dual weaponry. It's got a sword that comes over the top and strikes his opponents. And it's got a uh, spinning disc as well. So if you fancy a robot with uh, dual weaponry, then choose Cutthroat while it's still available. Right, next on the list is Siren. Now, uh, Siren, it it's pretty much a sacrificial robot, I think. Um, it got some good pushing power, but that's about it. And... It's not just a shell, if you're wondering. If you look closely, you can see I've actually given it an interior. So if the shell comes off, which inevitably it will, you'd be able to see all the ele electronics and stuff inside. So if you wanted a robot that just gets uh, smashed up and you can see the inside, yeah, you know, just for fun, then choose Siren. Okay, next up we have... A much bigger robot by comparison, we have Demon Dentist. Now, I should get this off my chest straight away. Halo will not be qualifying in Series 5. Yeah, a few fans I think will be disappointed to hear that. So this is uh, Team Halo's new machine. They took part in Series 1 with Granite Grinder. Series 2, 3 and 4 with Halo. And now they're coming back for Series 5 with Demon Dentist. As you can see, its weapon is an axe. Quite a big, powerful one as well. I don't know about you, but I think that um, this could be a rival against Jackhammer in the next series. Because this is one powerful axe, so... Um, yeah, while it's still available, say if you want it to represent you or not. And last but not least... Um, I'm not sure um, that any fan-made um, Robot Wars has come up with this robot. It's a cluster bot, I think. Um, I know that fan-made series have done that a lot of times before, but this is Gemini. Um, just leave a comment if you know if there's been a series by um, Robot Wars fans who have built Gemini. But yeah, this is my take on Gemini. Uh, very different to the uh, to the Robot Wars incarnations. Um, it uh, it splits apart. These bits of cardboard here, they're basically like the magnets that keep them together. Then they um, split apart at the start of the battle. The flippers much wider compared to the Robot Wars version, and more able to get in underneath opponents. But you know what they say about cluster bots. If one half goes out, then both halves are out. So if you want Gemini to represent you, um, think long and hard about this. If you want a cluster bot, that can cause more havoc, but you're more likely to um, be immobilized. Choose Gemini. Alright, so that's all the robots for Series 5. This is Silver Tardis. Goodbye.